Today I come to you guys with some amazing news. Yesterday I made a video called I Got Robbed about how I got robbed of my prized possession. My Subaru Sandbar from 1997 directly imported from Japan. My dream car. And today I have amazing news. We got her back. And it's a crazy story of how it happened. And it kind of comes down to a lot of you guys who helped out. Anyway, let's start at the beginning for anyone who didn't watch the video, some context. I have this car, and it was staying at the warehouse where I record The Yard, my podcast. And if you didn't hear about it, there were some rainstorms in Los Angeles over the past week. And LA doesn't do well with rain. So it wiped out a bunch of power grids, including where we filmed The Yard. Because of that, the gate, the electric gate, that keeps people in or out of that set was not working. And Aiden, one of the people on The Yard was trapped there uh, and he eventually got helped he got let out by zipper but they couldn't close the gate again so the gate was left open my super sandbars parked in the gate somebody during this rainstorm must have snuck in to our area to our parking lot opened my car rummaged through and found a spare key that i didn't even know existed because i have my own key and drove the car off the lot now, the reason the car was parked there and not my house is because it had like a, a, a dud. It had a, a spare tire on it that looks 25 years old. So, uh, you know, I was just, I was being a little slow on repairs, but I didn't expect for someone to steal it. Now, of course, I made the video yesterday. The video was like on the trending for YouTube. It got a bunch of views. I also tweeted out about it just in kind of the hopes that, you know, if someone who happens to like me also lives in L.A., maybe they keep their eyes peeled. I mean, one of the cool things about this car is how unique it looks. It's like a really, really small truck. Uh, there's not many of these cars, uh, at least in Los Angeles. You go to Japan, they're left and right. But, but in L.A., you don't see a lot of them. Uh, and so I tweeted out about it, and the tweet got 8.9 million views. It was tweeted out by, like, some news sites, a, a bunch of people retweeted, and because of that, Reddit got to work. Now, this could be a dangerous thing, right? Reddit gets to work sometimes, and they can be a little bit wrong, but very confident that they're right. But with the Subaru Sandbar, it looked like we had better odds. Specifically, somebody said Ludwig Subarus in, in Silmar, which is like a, a, a area of L.A. that I didn't know existed because if you don't know, there's thousands of them. Anyway, there's this video that they posted on Reddit, and it looks exactly like my car. You can see it has some of the writing from when I originally imported it. It even has like this little dent over here that was painted over, the same front grille. And it also looks like... It's parked really close to this Volkswagen, kind of blocking the license plate. So they film this video, they post it on Reddit, and immediately I get a bunch of DMs on Twitter. So I send it to my assistant, Nick Yingling, who's in LA, to go scope out the area. For some context, I'm not in a classroom. I'm in Texas right now filming something super secret. Because of that, I wasn't able to go out there myself, or I would have. So Yingling goes out there, he scopes out the area. By the time he gets there, the car is gone, which was a bit of a bummer, but it's actually pretty helpful to know generally where a car is. So instantly I tweeted out, somebody found the car, but it was moved before we could uh, get Yingling over there or have somebody place an air tag. So if you guys happen to be around Silmar in Los Angeles, just, just keep your eyes peeled. Just keep your eyes peeled for a 1997 Subaru Sandbar. I promise there's not a lot in the area. And so that's exactly what people did. Now, this tweet also got another 1.8 million views. And some people got to work, including this Twitter user, Israel, who sent me this video. It was like a drive-by. And I, and I was refreshing. I mean, all day I started just refreshing my message requests, refreshing my message requests, waiting to see if anyone's sending me anything. And they send this car. Same exact location. They left, came back. Weird, I know, but apparently they like hanging out in this area. So they send me this. I'm like, all right, cool. Can you see if it's still there? Because I didn't see it for like 20, 30 minutes. They're like, yes, it is. And I'm like, all right, Yingling, you got to go get this car. Maybe call the cops. And if you don't know the cops, they, look, LAPD is not known for being the best and the brightest in the industry. But the way it works with specific car theft is a little different. It's not like there's one police that you call. There's like a police force for like 
swatting. There's a police force for like de-escalation, and there's a police force for like harassing minorities. And this specific group was like the auto group of the police force who who weren't available at that time. Like we called them, they're like, "Yep, got to call tomorrow." The, the people who deal with auto vehicles are not in right now. And we're like, okay, cool. So we couldn't get the cops there. For a lot of people, we're like, call the cops, call the cops. Couldn't. They were like, yeah, we don't, the, the guy isn't here. All we could do is kind of stand around and look at it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So Yingling tries to show up. And he's, he's in, in, in cahoots with Slime, who's also there. And they find the car. And they have the key to the car, obviously, because I have the key to the car. They walk up to it. And this happens. With the car in the car. Instant fear in Yingling's voice. And you can see it, this shadowy figure that I'm blocking with my face right here in the car that they didn't expect when they go to open it up. And here's just a few moments of the interaction. Whoa. <laughs> hey, bro, we gotta take it back. Take what back? The car. What do you mean? Is this yours? What's that about? You start it. Of course. Wait, can we start it? How can you guys start it? No. And obviously there's, I think, eight to ten more minutes of that interaction. But the way it went, at least from Yingling's perspective, and a lot more details will be divulged on The Yard this week. If you aren't a Yard listener, now's the time because Slime was actually there and has the video of it. Basically, they were like, hey, this car was stolen. And the guy who was in that video, by the way, claims to not have been the person who stole the car. He's just a dude who's owed money, and the person who gave him the car having all the money, and that's how they paid for their debt. I don't know what the actual truth is. We don't know that much, but I do know he has my goddamn car. So they're like, all right, well, hey, that car's stolen. I want it back. And the guy, the audacity of this guy, is like, all right, $10,000. What? The car, first of all, doesn't even cost that much, all right? It, you know, th but besides the fact that I would be paying for what is literally mine that was stolen from me, it is not worth 10,000 bucks. It was worth 5,500. literally half that. So it's like, okay, no, obviously not. And one, two, I don't have $10,000 on me. That's what they said. And so then they were like, all right, talking, going back and forth. Eventually, Nick's there and he's like, all right, I'm just going to call the cops. And the guy's like, all right, dude, call the cops. He goes to call the police. The moment he does it, door slams. The guy fucking gets right out of there. Leaves the scene of the crime. Son of a bitch. And I'm up. It's like one... 2 a.m. in Texas when I get that message that he left. I'm like, oh, oh, no, it was right there. And I was so worried that maybe it'd be parked in like a garage forever or or driven way, way, way out of town. You know, it's just somewhere where we couldn't find it. But I wake up this morning bright and early at like 9 a.m. And I see this post on the subreddit. Lud's truck. Subreddit back at it again. There's a crazy community effort of people who happen to live around that area in Los Angeles just walking around, keeping their eyes peeled, and tracking this down. And this this singular image led to a bunch of DMs. And again, I'm refreshing, I'm refreshing, I'm refreshing. And they tracked not only what city this was in, but the exact area, the exact mall outlet. Jin's Massage. Guy, I guess... Maybe he was going for Veronica's insurance, but I think he's getting a little gin's massage, okay? A little sweet treat while sitting there with my car that he stole. And while that was happening, the original Reddit poster, uh, uh, Suffer, that's the, the, the guy's username, stayed there, called the cops. And at that time, the cops did have the, uh, like the auto group who deals with that sort of thing. Uh, and he waited around, and I'm calling, spam calling Yingling because it's like early days, early morning. Yingling, Yingling was up late trying to get the car. He shows up, uh, and, and and then what happens? The police save the day. Got to give a little credit, all right? The police save the day. They show up, and the moment they show up, the guy who was, I think, in the massage parlor, who was like packing up the car ready to leave right at the moment the cops come up, just runs down the street, just scooby-doos the hell out of there. The police stick around for it. Yingling gets there. Uh, here is Suffer with Yingling with the car. And he says, found Ludwig stolen truck earlier. LOL. <laughs> Casual day in the life of Suffer, man. What a goat. Uh, and it, of course, ends with the car being saved. It is now finally in our hands. Obviously not in the same location. We, we, we parked this 
undisclosed location, tr try to park it very far away, just keep it uh, under wraps for a while, because, I mean, the fact of the matter is we only have one of the apparent two keys that I didn't even know about for this car. So we're going to have to get the, the, the keys changed. Is that a thing you can do? Probably, right? Get the keys changed or something like that. I don't know. We just I don't want anyone taking this away from me again. Right, he might he might have messed with it. Who knows? Anyway, that's that's it. That's that's where we are now. The car has been retrieved thanks to a community effort of blood buds who happened to just keep their eyes peeled, find the car, let us know where the car is. Yingling's tireless effort to try to go to the locations that he was told the car was staying at. Slime helping out because he's the one who knows how to drive six shift. And at the end of the day, suffer who called the police and the police LAPD who actually showed up to save it. And, and, and now it has been retrieved. So a lot of people are curious. All safe. Subaru Sandbar back in my hands. All right. And now I am going to repair it. I'm going to drive this around town. i got to fix that little dent it has. I'm going to wipe off the paint. i got to name this car. And you guys got, got to subscribe for following this story. Thanks, thanks for it. I appreciate it. This, this is crazy. This is a crazy saga that I'm just living through while in Texas. My God. Anyway, see you later. Crazy. Subscribe. Gosh. Get that car, by the way. K-Trucks are not that expensive. That's your dream car? Hey, join me. That way I'm not the only guy in L.A. with one. <laughs> All right, bye.